Welcome to Middle Tennessee State University. We are so excited that you have decided to become a student with our institution and we look forward to working with you during your academic programs. This video today is created to help you be able to find where and how to log in to online courses. MTSU online courses are all housed within our learning management system called Desire to Learn or D2L. In order to log in the very first time, you need to make sure that you have already created your uh, username and password. That is typically your email address uh, because we use a single sign-on system here. Uh, so if you have not at this point created or set up your email system and your login authentication for you to be able to use your email or other pipeline sources, go ahead and stop this video, take a minute, go get that started. Now that you've done that, we are going to go ahead and log into D2L. The way to do that is to go to mtsu.edu and on the far right side in the navigation bar is a link for quick links. We're going to click on that and then the next to bottom link on the left column of that drop down menu is D2L. D2L or Desire to Learn is the learning management system that we use at MTSU online and this is where all of your online classes are housed. When you go to log in to D2L, a box will pop up that asks you to pick your account once you have set it up the first time. If you have not set it up before, a different type of box will pop up and you will enter your uh, user information and password there. So when we click on that, it allows us to go through and log in. And now we have our courses. This is what the D2L homepage looks like. Uh, you will see, as this is mine, um, that here is my contact information, I mean, my profile information, my picture, and my name. Some useful buttons up here. Uh, this one is updates. This one is uh, subscription alert. So if you subscribe to something within your classes, it will post here. This is emails. For emails that are sent within D2L, this is not your usual email address. It's not the one that is john.smith at mtsu.edu. This one is within the learning management system. Uh, so that's an important distinction. So if you have an, an icon here, it is probably from someone in one of your courses or a faculty member. So just kind of keep an eye on that if you can. Um, and then within it, you will see that my courses uh, are all, and then they are listed as well by semester. So if this is your first semester, you're not gonna have a whole lot listed here, uh, but by the time you've been here for a couple years, you will have several classes listed and uh, will want to be able to move around based on the term. So we are going to take just a second to look at this page a bit further and discuss what you need to know about this page. So as I mentioned, this is where updates occur. Uh, this is where institution-wide news updates happen. Over here on the left side is where my courses are listed as we just discussed. So we're gonna pick a class and we're gonna click on a class to take a look at. So I'm going to click on my development shell, uh, which is pretty empty actually, but uh, we're gonna click on that just so you can see where some things are within the system. So clicking on that, it opens up and what you see here at the top, top left is my home that will always take you back to the main D2L homepage up here is either the course title or in this case MTSU online because these are MTSU online courses. Uh, again, the same notifications that were on the main homepage across the top. The secondary nav bar within a class is going to say something similar to what is there now. Course home always takes you back to the main landing page. Uh, so this right here that is what we're on is the course home page. This is where the course introduction, some basic news, maybe a calendar, um, information about your instructor, always going to be on this page. Content 
is actually where the course information in terms of different types of readings, uh, the path that you will follow with the information being given. This is basically where your classroom is. So if we click on that, um, you will uh, notice that there is a little bit of information in there um, that is just a sample and it has a table of contents and then getting started in course introduction. Typically within the getting started in course introduction portion is where you will find links to syllabus, uh, course descriptions, learning outcomes, uh, assignment schedules, different information like that will be available through the Getting Started. In every online class that you take, you want to look for the Getting Started or Course Introduction module. That is where you're going to start each and every class. To go to any of those from your content page, you can simply click on it and it opens. Uh, as you see, the, uh, this one is already on that page. So uh, here is the information about this course. Once you have taken a look at your getting started and course introduction, uh, we'll also look at some possible assessments. This is where your discussions, your Dropbox or assignments will be located. Grades, that's always important. People like to know where that can be found. Quizzes, sometimes you will have surveys. If your course uses rubrics in order to do assessments, they may also be uh, available here awards just in case you have any and class progress this shows you what you have and have not completed within a class at any given time the next drop down from the nav bar is called communication this is where attendance can be tracked your calendar can be located chat chat is within d2l and it is a way that you can chat with individuals fairly live uh, there's a little bit of lag, um, just in case someone's not logged in at the same time that you are, but uh, you can communicate with someone through chat. Class list is a list of every single person in the course for which you are registered. Uh, discussion is listed here as well as an assessment. Uh, and that really is just because it, it, it helps sometimes to have it in both places, depending on how you process information, will determine whether or not it makes sense for it to be an assessment or communication for you. Email, again, this is an email within D2L. This is not your normal email address that you would use to communicate outside of the classroom. This is an in-system D2L. And then groups, you may or may not have these within your classes, but if you do, this is one of the ways to communicate with groups. There is always a help dropdown. This is where you can connect with D2L uh, and also get tutoring service. That is the nuts and bolts of how we look at information within D2L.